And hi everybody out there, this is Mark Mannering from Class Training. Just a quick summary of the major aspects of our Microsoft Excel Intermediate course. All versions are covered in our training as you can see there in the list. Okay, our Excel Intermediate course is perfect for those people who have been self-taught or have played with Excel for a, a little while or may have done an introduction course and uh, what we cover at the start of that intermediate course is a revision of the basics. So I basically revise the introduction course or the main shortcuts that you should know as far as the basics of Excel is concerned. So people look at how to uh, create this particular um, example spreadsheet, how to enter data and uh, that's very quick how to uh, customize a quick access toolbar you can see there lots of shortcuts we cover with that first section of our intermediate course and then we get into the intermediate side of things and first of all what we look at is how to use formulas better so I've already got a spreadsheet here and participants learn how to create what they call cell range names I've already got those cell range names set up here on, under the name box here and you can see there's Barney, Dean and Fred and if I click one of those it highlights the particular cells click Martin it highlights Martin's data as well and all we've done is set these up just to make it easier to negotiate and navigate around our spreadsheet. If we move down to the summary tab in this example spreadsheet we work with in the course uh, the formulas have already been added in you can see the employees there again and now we've got a total of their hours from that previous uh, data sheet but what's happened is that these hours or these totals have been entered and set up using those cell range names you can see some of Barney uh, some of Dean and so on and the course goes into lots of shortcuts on how to set those up so that's much easier to create your formulas and create your template Okay, a big section we cover in the Excel Intermediate course is how to work with big spreadsheets. So we have a large example file here, lots of information here. You can see columns across the, the top there and lots of data coming down, the different teams and sales data, typical information you play around with. Right down the bottom we've got the grand totals for all this information and we look at how to summarize and create a brief outline of this particular file without using things like uh, hiding columns or hiding rows they're not efficient enough we use what they call the brief outline or uh, group and outline feature in Excel and it's a great way to summarize the particular data okay so what I've done there now is to uh, apply those uh, outlining tools and you can see across the top there uh, so the outlining tools with a collapse button so if I click the collapse button there that collapses that particular part of the data we don't need to see the details and I can expand that again just by clicking the plus sign there. You'll see the numbers across the top left hand corner there, they represent the different levels of data that created and I can click those quite easily, number one for example and click number two and again that summarizes the data as uh, far as the rows are concerned and the columns and again I can just summarize this and not worry about all the details unless I need to look. Now as part of this big section on large spreadsheets in the course we cover how to work with the sheet tabs at the bottom there. You've got sheet one, sheet two and sheet three and we want to be able to uh, create copies of those sheets so we can track information across different years or different months or different regions of uh, particular areas and so on and in the course again we cover lots of shortcuts on how to create those tabs OK, and there's the final result they create in the course with all the sheet tabs at the bottom there. We use lots of shortcuts on how to create copies of these and so on. If I click through those particular tabs, you can see the data is uh, different there. We've got uh, different information here. If I go to the particular totals tab there, you can see the totals. And there's lots of shortcuts on how to create those totals, those formulas across all of those particular tabs uh, down the bottom there. Another major aspect of what we cover in the Excel Intermediate course is all about pivot tables. Now lots of people play with pivot tables uh, but we go right into uh, how pivot tables work, how you can apply the information and lots of options that you can apply to pivot tables. Okay and there's the final pivot table of that information you just saw before, the raw data and you can see you've got the uh, summary of the information there. I've also got a pivot chart at the bottom and there's lots of shortcuts here. You can see uh, blank areas there inside the pivot table where there was no data in the raw information so that, that's just blank but there are lots of shortcuts to auto fill or auto populate those blank areas. And you can see there now that the zeros, for example, have been auto-populated into the blank areas and we've used a shortcut to do that. We haven't manually typed the zeros in and you can type anything in. You can have anything auto-populated such as NR for no result or whatever your choice is. There's also an important shortcut on how to format all of the numbers in the pivot table result here into currency or whatever you want. You don't manually select all of those numbers to format the information but we can just use a shortcut to apply that quite easily.
and I've just used that shortcut to apply the formatting and all that's covered in the course. You can also see drop downs, top left hand corner here, most people are familiar with that or many people are and we look at more options for how we can filter out the information and report just what we need to report out of this pivot table. And it's quite an easy method to display the data in a different way. So in this case, it's not the actual values of the totals of those particular categories on the left-hand side there. We're showing the percentages of each uh, result as of the total or as of the column total. So you can see, for example, advertising is 5.26% in July, and that's of the total expense uh, spent in July. And it's quite easy to uh, set that up. So there are a lot of useful things you can do with pivot tables. Okay, that's all we needed to uh, look at, just a brief summary of what we cover in the Excel Intermediate course that we provide, a lot more things that we cover as well, have a look at our website or inquire with us to see what else is covered, but as you might know we also provide an introduction course to Excel and also advanced course uh, in Excel as well. And finally people, all attendees and participants to our computer courses and IT training sessions are entitled to the following services and benefits. We can initially provide a needs analysis of your current skill or your personnel's current skill level of the application and that can suggest the best course or level for them. We provide public courses in our training room and there's a schedule on our website for those. But we can also provide on-site training in your facilities and we can provide laptops to help out with your requirements. We provide face-to-face hands-on training with a facilitator uh, to follow through the exercises out of the workbook and so on. But we also provide live webinars where travel might be a problem and they are very cost effective. We can also provide online training as well. All our training manuals contain step-by-step -step instructions and shortcuts for you to follow through during the training and also afterwards as a reference tool. And most importantly, we provide customised content. So as well as the uh, particular content that we have with our courses that we've developed, we can also customise all this to uh, fulfil your particular training requirements. We also provide free refreshers on our training courses where you can come back and do a free refresher course. Uh, conditions apply, so please inquire about that. And we provide lots of support after the training, so you can email in or phone in your particular query or question and we can answer that uh, for you. We have a web-based help desk which can be used 24-7 obviously with a large library of questions and answers and you can submit your queries through that help desk as well. And we also provide our training manuals for sale in case you wanted to run your own in-house training or do your own self-study as well. Okay, that's all from me for the time being. It's Mark Mannering from Class Training. Uh, thanks for your time. Please contact the office for any other information you might require about our training courses and services. But hopefully we'll see you soon so that we can help you learn lots and learn fast. Thanks again. Bye.